I know I curse a lot in my YouTube videos, but I'm going to apologize in advance for all the swearing I'm going to be doing in this video because I'm going to be cursing a lot during reviewing this movie, so I apologize in advance. So yeah, let's get to this movie. One second. Okay, let's get to it. Hey everyone, welcome to another review. Here's my review for the movie, The Emoji Movie. We've come to this. We've come to this. Emojis have made a fucking movie. Anyways, this movie, uh, this movie stars T.J. Miller, Christina Aguilera, James Corden, Stephen Wright, and Patrick Stewart. And this movie is written and directed by Anthony Leandis. Yes, this is the guy who has previously directed movies like Lilo and Stitch 2 and Igor. Talented guy, that guy. And we have the Emoji movie. <laughs> Fucking emojis. Um, yeah, this movie is about this emoji named Gene. And the whole world, this world takes place in a smartphone. And the emojis have their own kind of world, like Wreck-It Ralph. And the main character, Gene, like Wreck-It Ralph, feels like an outsider and stuff because he has, like, multiple, multiple facial expressions and stuff. And he's not, like, one simple emoji like all the other emojis in his world. And he basically wants to leave and embark on a journey to find his true self and pretty much be like everyone else. Kind of like Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah, this movie's ripping off Wreck-It Ralph, but instead this movie takes place in a smartphone instead of an imaginative world in this arcade world with all these amazing cool video game characters this is emojis because we we clearly wanted an emoji movie movies about smiley faces and sad faces and Patrick Stewart playing a pile of shit yes yes you think that joke got old in the trailers it gets even more old when you watch this insufferable fucking movie yes my thoughts and opinions of this movie it, this movie's a huge piece of shit yes the emoji movie is a heaping pile of trash garbage fucktard this movie's awful this, this, I, I am saying this right up front. This is not a movie for kids. This is not like a kid's movie, like a Cars 3 or something. Like, Cars 3 is not a movie for me and stuff. Neither was, like, Boss Baby. They weren't good movies. But you know what? At least kids can enjoy them. And, you know, parents can just take their kids and stuff, turn their brains off and watch a silly kids movie. The Emoji movie is not that. This movie is truly horrendous. This is an anus of a film. This is another food fight in Norm of the North. This movie will literally destroy your brain cells when you're watching this film. The jokes are beyond juvenile, beyond forced, beyond idiotic, and jokes have been used in a bajillion movies. I've seen, jo seen better jokes in Adam Sandler films. I've seen better jokes in Jack and Jill. Yeah, that's how bad this fucking movie is. This movie is truly horrendous. The characters in this movie are not at all likable, not at all enjoyable, and not at all original. Every character is the most cliché, predictable, formulaic character ever. The animation in this movie is beyond horrendous. It doesn't even look good. There's nothing imaginative or inventive about this movie. The story, the plot is, again, beyond pandering, and it, not at all original or fresh. Again, this movie is directly ripping off Wreck-It Ralph, but instead of cool video game characters, we have goddamn emojis. And this movie tries to make technology jokes that aren't funny, they try to make fart jokes that aren't funny, poop jokes that aren't funny, they even try to make movie references that, again, aren't funny and not clever. This movie thinks it's this wacky, cool adventure film, but it's not. This entire movie is made to make money because they know because again Hollywood is running out of movie ideas and they're like you know what people use emojis and stuff and kids are into you know technology everyone has a cell phone everyone goes on the internet everyone knows what emojis are let's just center an entire film about emojis that is single-handedly the stupidest fucking idea for a goddamn movie since Battleship. Yeah, they made a movie about a board game, Battleship. 
I, I, can, I believe they'll make a movie out of anything now. They're gonna make Stickers the movie, Ketchup Bottle the movie, and a sidekick, Mustard, and the evil villain, Relish. Like, I, they'll make a movie out of anything now. Watching this movie, it just proved to me, like, they'll make, they'll make anything. They'll make a movie out of absolutely anything, and it'll be the most stupidest, ridiculous, fucking awful thing I'll ever see. This movie is awful. This movie is beyond stupid, beyond idiotic, and no one should see this movie. This is the kind of movie you take your kids to go see if you want to punish them. If, you're, if your son got an F on his homework, you're going to see the Emoji Movie. If your kid set the fire to the backyard, you're going to see the Emoji Movie. If you committed a crime and you're about to go to Juvie, screw Juvie. The Emoji Movie is worse than Juvie. This movie's awful. Again, the characters suck. This direction is awful. There's no good execution or a well-structured story. There's no good messages in this movie. You won't even be able to learn a single thing from this film. A lot of kids, kids' films, even bad ones, at least have good messages. They have good life lessons, and they teach kids something about life and about anything, any life problems or anything. This movie teaches you nothing. This movie, again, is predictable. You know exactly where this movie is going. And again, no characters are enjoyable. There's nothing at all funny about this movie. Nothing about this movie is funny. This movie is so goddamn unfunny. Ah, I was in a theater, too, full of kids and adults. Nobody was laughing. It was like crickets in the theater. That's how bad this movie is. I've seen a lot of bad movies, and people were laughing. I saw pixels in theaters, and that whole theater was laughing. Nobody was laughing about this at this movie. This movie is going to tank in the box office. I guarantee that. If it doesn't, then there's, some then there's something wrong, seriously wrong, with the world we live in. This movie is awful. I hated this goddamn movie. This is the worst animated film I've ever watched. This is the worst film I have seen this entire year. I would never in my entire life ever sit through this movie a second viewing. I'd rather get ass raped by Satan himself than watch this movie again. I'd rather watch Norm of the North again than watch this movie again. I'd rather get my balls ripped off by a nail filer than watch this movie again. I'd rather listen to Fran Drescher for six hours while reading me a bedtime story than watch this movie again. This movie is the epitome of awfulness, of shit, of fucking a travesty, of a disgrace of film and animation. Animated movies are great and pure films that educate us and entertain us and give us truly great stories and characters like Disney films and Ghibli films, and Warner Brothers, and DreamWorks. A lot of great animated films in this world for, for both kids and adults. This movie is for nobody. This, is, this movie is for people who just hate life, and they just, and they just want to watch absolute nonsense. Things on Treehouse, and like shows babies watch, are more educational and more entertaining than this goddamn movie. This movie is a piece of shit, and I fucking hate it every second of this fucking movie. I, if I gave zero out of tens on this channel, I would give this movie a zero, but I do not do that. I do one out of tens, and this movie, on a movie on a scale of one to ten, gets the lowest one out of ten. This movie is so fucking bad. Please, for the love of Christ, do not pay money to see this movie. Please do not. If this movie actually makes its money back, if they plan a sequel or something, I will weep for the world we live in. There, there's something wrong with people then. Like, I get it, some kids will see it too, but please, if you're an adult and you're the right mindset, do not see this movie. It is so fucking awful, and I fucking hate it every second of this fucking movie. Fuck this movie. So yeah, that was my review for the movie, The Emoji Movie. I am so sorry that I was angry in this review. I'm just, uh, this movie really pissed me off. I've never had a movie piss me off this much, and I wanted to go into more spoilers, but you know, again, not everyone has seen this movie. Good for you. Good for you. But who cares? You all, you, everyone just wanted to know how much I hated this movie. I hated it. It's the worst thing I've ever seen this entire year. Probably the worst thing I've seen this entire decade. I hated this movie.
go to hell emoji movie. So in the comment section below, please tell me, are you going to go see this movie? Don't see this movie. Please do not see this movie. But if you have, what are your thoughts and opinions of the emoji movie? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.